Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here with some more adventures in locksmithing. So I get a call from someone that they're like, uh, you came out, rekeyed our locks uh, last week, and we were broken into. And so I'm kind of bracing myself because I've had this before where people feel like because I came out and rekeyed their locks that I'm then liable for them getting broken into. When I didn't switch out their locks, I just changed the key. Um, that wasn't the case here. They weren't upset about that, but they needed me to come out because the locks were busted. And I was like, well, I, I'm, I'm super booked. I'll have to come out after hours. Um, and so that's what I do. And when I get there though, it's inside an office complex where you enter in a main door and enter into all the units from the inside. It's mostly law offices, mortgage companies, um, real estate agencies, that kind of stuff. And lo and behold, multiple places were hit. Now there's only like one place that's open on the weekend and they're on the bottom floor. They wanted their customers to be able to come in. So they unlocked the front door. Well, these people just, you know, came in, rode the elevator up and just started attacking, uh, businesses doors on the other floors. Now they were completely caught on camera. And it was funny, you know, they, they left things of value like laptops and um, rolls of $100 roll of stamps, stuff like that. Uh, but they stole the paper from the shredder, <laughs> you know, thinking that they were going to get important financial information from that or something. But how did they break in? Well, they, they did a uh, problem that comes down to what the kind of locks that were installed. So all these doors have these big beefy commercial levers. This is comparable to what you'd see like on a gas station bathroom, something like that, uh, truck stop, you know, something heavy duty commercial, big warehouse, something like that. These big beefy locks. Now you can see, or if, if you can tell there, this one's kind of sitting a little bent there. It doesn't want to move. Uh, but it can, it's, it's real rough because this one is one that I've removed. It's been damaged. So these are what's called rigid. So the way, uh, on these commercial locks, when they're rigid, that means when, uh, the, the door is locked and you pull on the handle, it doesn't move. And what's locking that is merely a little, little thin piece of metal that moves into place and holds it there. And what they do is they take a big pry bar and they just put their weight on it and they bust that down. They basically, they, they uh, bend and break this little piece of metal out of place. They don't even have to completely break it, they just get it to pop out of place. And then uh, it's, it's bent the stem up so, like you can see the stem on this side, and then when you look at the stem on this side, you can kind of see how it's bent up a little bit. So they, they definitely jacked it up so that it doesn't, doesn't work smoothly, but it's, it no longer locks. Now, a locksmith would have preferred what's called a clutched version. The clutched version, even when it's locked, you can pull the handle down, because what's locking it is not... Um, just a mere piece of metal keeping the handle from turning. Instead, what's locking it is actually moving the piece away from the, the handle so that it no longer is engaging. So you can move that handle on up and down. You could take a hammer and beat it off the door. Doesn't matter. It's not going to open. Um, of course, with levers, you know, there's all sorts of ways that they could use door spreaders, different things that they could attack these doors. A devil is far superior security. But when it comes to commercial levels, and on, on interior offices, usually we're not worried about somebody going into that, but the clutched is a much more secure unit. Now, once again, locksmiths know this, but contractors and even some door shops don't. What do they care about? They care about that one year warranty. Is the lock gonna break? No, it's heavy duty. 
Now the difference between one that's rigid and one that's clutched is like four to six dollars. But what's funny is like the brand that I'm replacing it with, it probably is about fifty, sixty dollars cheaper than the brand they have on there. But it's a better quality lock. Because while it's not the same name brand they had on there, it's not rigid. So it's clutched, it's just as durable, past all that, but it's not the name, the bigger name brand. And because of that, so it wasn't because the, the construction worker's trying to be cheap, but because people, when they first get a clutched one, they think, oh, it didn't lock, it didn't lock. Well, it did, it's just that the handle can still move, and people are confused about that. You kind of have to talk to them. A builder does not want to have to talk to people about how to operate their door. They want it to be as straightforward, as simple as what they've experienced everywhere else. So they're going to go with the rigid. And that's that's usually their motivation behind it. However, that's not security. And you're going to find that with, with any building material, you know, plumbing, any of that. You have a service provider come out and they're going to tell you that what the builder puts in is junk. Even builders who want to put in quality, they'll, they'll buy name brands. They'll buy big names, they'll buy expensive stuff sometimes, but it's usually junk because what don't they do? Well, 10 years down the road, they don't do maintenance on it. You know, they're not replacing that faucet that goes out five, 10 years later. They're not replacing the door lock that, that fails when somebody breaks in. They're not, they're not handling that uh, maintenance. Uh, door frames, these office frames, they've got the, uh, like the, the timely, um, metal snap-in frames. I'm not a door guy. Door shops love those frames because they snap in in a matter of minutes. There's not a whole lot of prep work to the framing and all that kind of stuff. Um, locksmiths and door shops that do a lot of uh, little here and there maintenance, so not, not big door shops that are just installers, but door shops that actually go out and do service calls, they look at it completely different because those those timely frames they sag and they constantly have to be taken apart, taken off, re-secured to the wall, re-anchored, um, and it becomes a problem. You put these big heavy doors on these hollow aluminum snap-on frames, and eventually they're going to sag, the door's going to drag, it's going to rub against the jaw jam, the lock holes aren't going to match up, and I'll get constantly calls that a door lock isn't working, and really it's just that the frame is sagged and it's not lining up. So this is the kind of stuff like builders will put in things that aren't good. And so I run into this. Now this office complex, you know, this is about 20 units that I'm having to go back and replace this hardware now. Now, as I mentioned, the latch on these is what's called a dead latch. This little button is supposed to be pushed in to prevent that so you can't use the credit card trick. But oftentimes, if you pry the door open far enough, not all the way to where it slips out, but just far enough so that this bolt can pop back out, then you can push it in with a card. So a door spreader, that, that's why having a dead bolt on the door, something that can't be attacked there, that goes in far enough that you can't spread the frame apart, that's your true security. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting in the correct uh, levers and I'm doing that uh, security. Now, I've been kind of on the fence about this, like talking about um, defects in locks and stuff. You, But I've come to the point where you have people like the locksmith and lawyer or just random people on YouTube are making hundreds of videos on this. So instead of shying away from that, I think exposing some of these weaknesses of locks, uh, coming from someone you know is a locksmith, is a good way for um, you to be informed about simple things you want to um, avoid. So I think I might do um, a few of those uh, videos on some stuff like that, like simple things uh, that you think is secure that isn't, and simple things you can do to improve your security. Um, so. With that in mind, this has just been another adventure in locksmithing. I've got uh, a couple of days worth of installing this stuff, so I'll catch you in the next video.